everybody, Marcy here. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we will be talking about my journey with breastfeeding and pumping. With Kian, we did have um, a different journey with than with Kai. It was like a completely two different children, I swear. <laughs> with Kian, we did have a C-section. I just wanted to start with that. Uh, we did figure out at the hospital that he did have a tongue tie, so it did not help for his latching into my breast. So I will talk about a little bit more into that right now. With Kian, we have him in the Milton hospital. He was a breech baby. So once we did have him, we obviously tried to see if we can place him so he can latch on, uh, but he was not latching on. I'm trying and we waited at least until like the second day almost or like the night, the night of. Uh, just to figure out what was happening. We didn't know why he wasn't latching on or like he would try to latch on but it just wasn't. So we had the nurses come in and then they, she was helping me. Uh, we were doing the breastfeeding and everything and then that's when they started noticing that he might be having a tongue tie. So then we did have him assess and it turns out that he was tongue tied. So that was one of the major things that played out for us for him to breast to be breastfed. In the meantime, when that was happening, we did obviously resolve to formula, which is, I think is a great thing. Honestly, like that was the best thing that we could have done at that moment, just because we wanted to make sure that he did have enough milk. In the meantime, when we were trying to figure out what was going on with my milk supply. Also, another fun fact that we did find out from the, one of the doctors, she did mention, when you do have a C-section, um, it, it does take a little bit longer for your milk to come in just because once they do the incision and um, they take the baby out that way your body doesn't naturally obviously have that uh, message come to you to your to the brain to say hey you know what there's a baby delivered it's time for us to have uh, the milk come in right it takes a little bit longer for the body to process that instead of just having a natural birth. Once you really have the natural birth, then obviously your body knows what was happening instead of having the incision as a C-section. So that did also play out for my breastfeeding journey with Kian. It did take a lot longer for my milk to come through. I think it took up to five days maybe to actually start or even more to be honest. Like, So I did bring my breast pump to the hospital, Mandela breast pump electric one also my haka uh, we did do that one first right away just to see how much actually i was pumping i brought that in um and i think it really did help just to see what was going I on pump every two hours max i would do maybe three hours depending on the day but i would also try to cap it at two hours just so i knew that I would try to get my breast milk to come in as much as possible. It wasn't as easy as, you know, as I thought. Like, nobody really talks about it, right? So that's why I'm here, just to share my experience because I heard so many different experiences of breast pumping or just breastfeeding. And it is just completely uh, intimidating, right? Like, I, I was, I even heard over mention, you know, about about uh, breast nipples, you know, cracking and, and, and bleeding and everything, right? So it's very intimidating to hear all these things. And then when you do have your baby, try to do that. And, and, you, and as a first time mom, you don't know what you're doing. So you're just trying your best to see what we can do. And then hopefully it works for you. Um, for us, again, with Kian, it was just a 50-50. We did uh, do a lot of formula. We did do a lot of breast milk, um, but it was just pumping. So all the breast milk that Kian did have was just pumping all the time. I would pump again every two hours for even the first three months for sure. I tried every time. I did do that up till uh, 10 months. I did drop it lower and lower by the time that it went when I saw my milk supply stabilize a little bit. But then when I did see maybe around six months, it started dropping again. I started drinking water. That one point I wanted to mention, which I found very important in my breastfeeding journey, was when I started drinking water, and I wish I would have done that earlier, and I wish, you know, I, I would have listened or maybe, uh, you know, known about it earlier, that changed a lot for me. I didn't have to pump as much as I did throughout the months so that helped me a lot i know for me it was hard to do because you are so busy to do so much and then to add on drinking water every morning or every day throughout the day it's not just that it's also going to the washroom right so 
doing all that is just takes a lot of time from you and it was very very hard like the first few months i i feel it was like a blur so i'm, I'm sure a lot of people maybe feel the same way but for me it was really really tough like that was a very hard journey but i'm just glad that i still pushed through um i did do that throughout the night also i would wake up and, and try to pump um even when he was sleeping i would definitely try to pump and then try to get as much milk as possible so i could also get some rest even by giving it to my husband you know when when he was sleeping i would just leave some bottles there and he would feed him so that i felt like it was really really good and i would supply with with uh, formula when there was just wasn't enough the more closer that we got to his 10 month period the less formula we started feeding him so we did notice that once i started getting more stabilized pumping a schedule and once i started drinking more water and everything just started flowing a little bit better another thing that i would suggest is uh, drink those tea the mother the mother teas those are really good. I will link that also. The pills for the breastfeeding to increase your breast. I'll also link those in there for you. Those three things I would think um, help me a lot with Kian. But the major thing I would suggest and I want to point that out is drink lots of water. So I, I would wake up every morning and literally have water, a big jar, jar of water. And I did put lemon in there too. So another, not just for your breastfeeding journey, but for your own personal journey, of let's say if you wanted to lose some weight or the baby weight to me that helped me a lot like i lost all my baby weight with just doing that if i was very lucky i don't know but i felt for me that worked so good once i started drinking water which was not the first few months it was later <laughs> i started noticing that my body weight the baby weight just disappeared us really really fast so to me that was a big big thing um, my number one thing even when breastfeeding i started noticing supply started increasing when i started drinking more water so it's not just for you but also for your breast milk and the baby that was awesome that was really really good with kai completely different experience it was just a natural birth it was a long labor but it was natural so my milk supply did come in right away I did notice it came right away and another thing is he didn't have a tongue tie so i guess those two major things did play out um and it made a big difference between kian and kai i am still breastfeeding kai and i still breastfeed him on the men i still do night feeds um, when he wakes up last night he woke up around four and i breastfed him. all the day i breastfeed him whenever possible i can also answer some questions about my breastfeeding routines with Kai and when I actually breastfeed him. So with Kai, I did notice again with drinking lots of water, that to me made a big difference. I think for my experience, that was the major point that helped me have the milk that I have even today for me to just be exclusively uh, breastfeeding Kai. Stay tuned for more videos coming out. I will link everything that I just mentioned for tips on what I did with Kian um, when I was pumping um, and what did help my milk supply come in. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.